I didn't think I was gonna be doing this, man. It wasn't all about the money. It was all about what you wanted to do. And what we wanted to do was play that music at any cost. Raw, uncut, hip hop on two turntables. We're all doing things with, with records and with turntables and things that that we we as DJs never thought it was even gonna go this far. So, you know. We kind of speaking out, whereas we've been shut out for a long time, and I think it's a good thing. So be prepared when we hit your town to get rocked down, because that's what we do. California. This tour is just like uh, turntables on steroids. If you ain't seen it before, you gonna see it now on this tour. It just keeps getting bigger and bigger. More and more people are into it and are getting it, finally, after all these years, you know. If you are into DJing, a night like this is something you really don't want to miss. It's not a rap concert, but it's a turntable concert. Welcome. to the Bronx River Community Center. Well, right now, what we're gonna do is, we're gonna take you back a little something, and we're gonna show you how it was done back in the days, all right? Y'all ready for this? take you back and forth. I'm going to take you a little back to the old school, to the new school, to in between. I might, you know, I might play something from Captain Kangaroo. Who knows? I don't know what the hell I'm going to do, man. I'm just going to get up there and do what I got to do. He's, he's the original Jazzy J. I mean, he's a party rocker like nobody knows, so he's got records that none of us will ever see, ever. I just, I've just been collecting records for so long, man. You know, I got like somewhere in the neighborhood of about 400, 500,000 records. A lot of rare breaks. No represses, no reissues. He's playing, he's playing the original breaks. Yo, what's up, Blastmaster KRS1? This jam is kicking. Word. Yo, what up, D Nice? Yo, what's up, Scott LaRock? Yo, man, we chillin' this funky fresh jam. I wanna tell you a little something about us. We're the Boogie Down Production Crew. And due to the fact that no one outside there knew what time it was, we have to tell you a little story about where we come from. Yo, what's up, Blastmaster KRS1? This Jazzy is J is, um, he's basically the, the, the backbone of all this. It kind of revolves around what he and the folks in his era started. 
he's he's the he's the true pioneer, and we're all kind of followers. Yo, I started out with the Soul Sonic Force, and then I did uh, the Jazzy Five, T. La Rock, uh, did a little bit of LL Cool J, Latifah, Karis One. Um, Yo, what's up, Blastmaster? KRS1, this gem is kicking. Drop Call what Quest, Brand Nubians, the Showbiz and AG, Law Finesse, Diamond D, whole DITC, Posse, uh, Fat Joe, Punisher, Big L, Cool Supreme. Uh, South Bronx, the South South Bronx, the South Bronx, the South South Bronx. Goes on and on, but I, I mean, I've been messing around with this with a lot of people for so many years, you know what I'm saying? Just in the Zulu Nation ourselves, we just pride ourselves on just keeping the music and keeping it real. We ain't about the 20 inch rims and the bling bling, you know, all of that stuff is good to have, but you don't focus on it, you just focus on the music itself and, uh, you know what I'm saying, and the people that's involved with you. MCA, because the rhymes you wrote was whack. So you think that hip hop had this star out in Queensbridge? If you pop that junk up in the Bronx, you might not live. Come on, say what? Take that back to a little bit of Zulu beat. Back then, you know, you, music had a lot of soul to it, you know what I'm saying? Because you had players, you had people playing music. It wasn't sitting behind a drum machine tapping on some pads. And that's what music had back in the days. It had that pulse, it had that feel, it had that live entity added to it, as opposed to a lot of the music today, which is like kind of more mechanical and it, and, it, and it doesn't have much of a soul to it, you know what I'm saying? So when you hear something like that and you know, okay, that's a live band, they got a drummer in there and he's kicking these rhythms and he's doing drum rolls and the bass man is going off and, and, and you hear these hard hits from a horn section, you know, hey, that music is the old school music that we grew up on. That's the music from back in the days and that's what kind of defines the old school music that I play.
right, come on now. Come on. Somebody, anybody, everybody, scream! Scream! Come on now. Throw your hands in the air and wave them back and just don't care. Just throw your hands in the air and wave them back and just don't care. Come on now. Get quick, get quick, get quick, get quick. character I, I i have a lot of love for jay a lot of respect and just being being in his presence is just i, I just feel that much more lucky to be in this art someone should rock the break and yeah. everyone should get a chance to lead or some shit yeah. <laughs> Z-Trip, FWB, Funky White Boy. 
you know, somewhere. He must have grew up in a black neighborhood because the way he spins that music, man, he, he had to have some kind of curry spice and all that shit put on him because he really does it well. You know, Z Trip is, you know, he's amazing. He just don't limit himself to the genre of music, you know, he will, he has like a lot of interest as far as musically, so he just, you know, take maybe a country rock song and blend it with like hard hip hop beats and just make his own beat live in front of him on stage. Yeah, yeah. You just never know what Z's gonna play, that's what makes it so entertaining. Let's see. Oh. Tonight, um, God, you're gonna hear, you know, I don't know, I have to be standing in front of the crate. I just put the set together sort of like last night and right now during sound check. Yeah, two of them. Oh, okay, 20 and 21. Yes, is, he's the kind of person, he's the kind of DJ that will play those songs that you would listen to at home, but you probably wouldn't tell anybody. Mm -hmm. He'll play, like, he'll go to one of his parties and in an hour he'll play all of those. Yep. And you'll leave, like, everybody's mocking, like, oh, that's dope. Yeah. And you're looking about, like, oh, he likes that too. And yeah. Right. yeah, that opens people's minds. That's true. <laughs> Just getting a little warmed up and shit. All right, so first and foremost, make some fucking noise for Jazzy J, the original. If I could, I want y'all to clap your hands with me when this shit breaks. Double time. Goes like this. Put them together, y'all. Up top, down low. Let's do this shit. That's nice, y'all. Check it Yeah. 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 Yeah.
you smell the musk of the dusk and the crack of the dawn. We go through episodes too, like Attack of the Clones. What till we break a bag and you hear the crack of the bone? To get by, just to get by, just to get by, just to get by. We commute the computer, spirits stay mute while your ego spread rumors. We survival less, turn to consumers. Just to get by, just to get by, just to get by, just to get by. You ask me why some people gotta live in the trailer, cause like a sailor, I paint a picture with the pen like Norman. Again, I want to big up my man, Shep and Ferry over here. That's my man right there. We're going to keep this shit going, y'all.
Thank you very much, LA. Yo, I got one more I'm gonna drop on you, man. Yo, this is my man, Mr. Master Mike, man. Make some noise for this dude right here, please. Always killing it. All right, y'all, again, how many people saw the movie Scratch? All right, this is a little something from the movie right here. And uh, I'm gonna drop it for you real quick and then I'm gonna be out. And again, thank you all for coming out and supporting our asses every time, every time. Thank you. I'm gonna drop it like this, y'all. Now it's time for our wrap-up. Let's give it everything we've got. Here we go, lady. like we used to, you know? Five, eight years ago, we used to do parties like this in front of like, you know, 50 people. And we'd be just excited all, to all be in like Seattle playing a show. And now here we are on tour, like going out and playing in front of, you know, lots of people. So it's a good thing. I mean, they're they're pulling out all the stops. I mean, great stage presence, great selection of music, a lot of good tricks. The executioners, three guys that work as one DJ. I mean, they put it down. It's like an orchestra. One of them takes like a, a different step and a different approach to music and then they combine it sort of like what a band does when you got a drummer, a guitarist, and a lead vocalist or, 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 or a bass player. Rock Raider with the, with the tricks, the body tricks, and uh, myself, whether it's scratching or beat juggling, or with Eclipse, whether it's like doing everything, scratching, beat juggling, and tricks. So now we're just gonna, we're gonna play a little bit of everything. Our, our, our style has kind of progressed to like, a mix CD slash turntablism slash show. It's, our, our show is just growing a lot, man. You'll, you'll see the progression of how our show builds up and how it flows. 
you know, we slow down, pick up the pace here. Um, we try to take the crowd in, in, in different levels and, and through different emotions and stuff musically. So definitely, it's just going to be a cool show tonight, I think. It's going to be like a, a live four track right in your face.
beat comes in, I want everybody to start jumping. Pick it up, pick it up. Come on, let's see. Let's be a queen. Come on, try it. On the Scratch Tour, we are the Executioners. To my left, give it up for my man Rock Raider. And to my left, give it up for my man Rob Swift. And to my right, give it up for my man Total Eclipse. Say hey.
House of Blues, Los Angeles, California. Mixmaster Mike, the way he rocks a party, nobody else can do it the way he does. Wow, Mixmaster Mike, what, what could you say? He's like, he's just insane. Yeah. Yo, it's only one word I can say about Mike, man. He's just sick with it. I mean, he's stupendous. He's he, he's, he's crazy with it, you know? <laughs> <laughs> I think one of the yeah. strengths of Mixmaster Mike is his ability to improv. Yeah. Um, a lot of the things that he does on stage are things that he feels that moment. Um, unrehearsed. Um, it's like he gets possessed by something and he just goes nuts. To tell you the truth, I'm kind of like battling myself. I'm kind of like uh, soul searching. <laughs> Searching live on stage. Yeah, I just I, I try to uh, segregate myself from everybody. It's the 15 minutes before I go on stage, and I just kind of like look look into my head and see what I have for the night. You know, I try to dig up something special. You know, I'm always thinking of. Uh, Energy, high energy, you know, um, magnetic energy, <laughs> full fledged, full on, full throttle, sixth gear, <laughs> nitrous oxide. That's what I'm thinking. Mixmaster Mike, are you ready? Five, four, three. Come on, Los Angeles. Two. and shit. This ain't no motherfucking rave. This is a hip-hop show, y'all. Give me the fucking spotlight, yo, and keep it steady. Word? You agree? <laughs> Here we go.
to uh, evolve the art. What more could you ask for Not much. in a DJ tour? Not much. That's what I'm trying to tell you. That's what this brings to the table. I'm out. Jazzy J, one love. Zulu Nation, out of here.
Take this shit. This yep. is the real shit. Like, all the glam and no, off. Get, get this on tape. I'm gonna get the truck. All right. This right here, this is the real shit. This is like the end of the, this is the stuff nobody gets to see, ever. Look at this nonsense. I gotta fucking lug this shit. I gotta go, I gotta go through, I gotta sort my records now and put them all back in order and do the same shit over again tomorrow. And the fucking MC comes up with a pad. And that's all that, a pad of rhymes. Not that I'm bitter. <laughs> But I wouldn't change it for the world. <laughs> and I mean it. I would just, I gotta find somebody to do this job. You know, we show up early, we, sh we close the, the place down. Man.